Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Dino Squad Gamer, and today we're talking about advanced tactics to start games. So that's right, we're going to talk about what do you do at the beginning of the game, is I look at the game kind of like a game of chess, right? Like, uh, what are your opening moves? And especially now that we play elimination mode and you can't just keep dying and respawning every single time, it is crucial. So let's get right into it. What I usually do now is I jump into a little tiny dino and I try to get as far across the battlefield as possible, capping the tower on the left hand side of both my home and their home right hand beacon my which would be on my left hand side why do I do that well you can see right now why I do it look over to the left hand side here I'm gonna turn back I just want to make sure nobody's behind me look over there the first thing that a lot of players do is they jump into a sniper and in particular into an archon and so I want to be able to get within striking distance of this archon I knew there would be a guy waiting there because it's too juicy for these sniper guys to just stand there and open up the game with just a, a sniper and just take out everybody's dinos from across the battlefield and so even though I was just killed there and he just used his um, he just used one of his abilities there to basically take me down, or one of the, one of the modules, I should say. Um, I accomplished my goal. I captured our left-hand beacon. I captured our um, our target on the other side of the map. Their their or the left-hand beacon on the far side, and I severely, severely wounded their sniper. So that is my first opening gambit for virtually every single game. I know I shouldn't tell you this because now you guys are going to know what to do to counter me, right? But that's sort of it. And then step two, what I generally do is I will come back in with my sniper because I am finding a pattern where a lot of guys, they will run in a sniper first and then they'll get in these big heavy thumper dinosaurs and they'll basically, you know, the T-Rexes, and I'm talking about the, 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 the nobles, I'm talking about the monarchs, I'm talking about the domus, dominus, that kind of thing. And they're going to try to get in there and just basically overrun you. Right, especially when you kill a person's sniper in the first move of the game, they get really, really mad and they want to come back and they want to get revenge. But they also don't want to lose their other sniper. And so that's why I jump up here now. Now I know that um, everybody on the battlefield pretty much is busy. They're all distracted. They're all running around like crazy. And so I can kind of get up here and get my dome going and I can start picking off some of these big dinos. Now I'm always keeping an eye out because you got to do this. I'm always keeping an eye out for the small dinos that are going to try to run up and ambush me. But in general, I am trying to take out their big dinos right now. Why am I doing that? Well, because if I can manage to take out several of their big dinos, I am kind of saving my my second sniper and I'm saving my big dinos for last. I'm saving them for last because I want to be able to counter whatever comes my way. If someone comes in in the part of the end game with a sniper, I want to be able to hit them from the other side of the map. If people are coming in and they save their last, um, you know, dino is a is a giant dino, I want to be able to fight back. I don't want to be stuck in a, in a reaver taking on um, taking on a monarch or taking on a dominus or something like that for my final dino. It's funny, but look at look what's going up here. I'm just up on my perch. I've just been just whacking people here. I know I've got four times monster. Okay, look, now my health is gone. I, there you go. So somebody finally clued in that I was over there just hammering their teammates. So he came at me with his reaver and it looks like he has the heavy shotguns on it. So now in the middle part of the game, I am not too worried about using my my sniper I'm not too worried about using my big dinos this is where I'm gonna start expending what I would call my expendable dinos and uh, in today's meta uh, these medium dinos really are expendable I mean they're, they're good for some things but they're by, not by far at all the strongest or best dinos for this game mode and so all I'm gonna try to do is try to get as much damage in as possible before I'm killed because I'll get killed you know, there's, there's no shame in that. I mean, that's that's what these dinos are for, these medium dinos. But I'm trying to take down as much of their enemy's health as possible, specifically for their heavy dinos, right? Because the whole plan right now is to make sure that nobody gets to set up on the other side of the map with a sniper and nobody is able to overrun us with their heavy dinos. So that's kind of the plan right now. And now let's jump in here again 
and let's see here I'm gonna come back in now with my heavy dino because I want to clear these guys out there's several heavy dinos basically camped in front of my spawn area and so I need to get them out of here I need to be able to just get in there I'm gonna use all my abilities there you go I'm just whacking them down um, took down that guy's health just got myself a kill I'm gonna get over here now again another little advanced tactic you cannot let them have that tower your home tower because it allows them just to keep spawning in and you imagine how deadly that guy would have been if I actually allowed a sniper to set up camp right outside of our home spawn it'd be just like shooting fish in a barrel so we have to get the guy out of there all right let's come around here I'm just gonna get that guy get him there we go. okay so I'm getting hammered yeah, there you go look at the look at that there's a sniper off to my right hand side and I'm getting attacked it's like almost three or four against one here holy cow managed to take that guy down though let's see if I can get a couple more guys before I die my health is super super low got another guy triple kill God, the damn sniper look at that guy that young daddy he's over there just been hammering me. I'm getting hit all over the place. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna try to damage this guy uh, a little bit, although I think I'm gonna die, but I wanna try to get this guy, at least do some damage, so that I can come back and take him out. Go, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him, okay, wow, monster times two. Look at all these guys with snipers in my spawn area. Now this is actually a good thing. It's not a bad thing, because he just took me out, but they, to be honest, that guy is way too close to my spawn. And this is where your mediums actually come in handy. If a sniper is going to go literally outside of your spawn safe zone, <laughs> then he's asking to die, right? Because, it, you know, he's not a short range brawler. So it was really a dumb move, actually, to come and set up camp. You want to set up camp probably, I don't know, 150 meters away from, from the, the home spawn. That way you can kill people when they come out of the safe zone. But you can also get the safety yourself. Anyway, let's go. I gotta try to t turn the, the, these towers. Like I said, you can't, you just cannot let um, guys just cap your home towers and just keep spawning in and spawning in. Man, okay, so let's go. This uh, this match is getting to be quite a quite a ringer here, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna come back with one of my heavies here. There's at least four enemies right to my right, and if I can't clear them out, I'm in big trouble. Um, now again, look at this. Isn't this stupid? Look at look at the guy setting up camp here, right outside my, right outside my um, my spawn area. Makes no sense. Anyway, maybe he's a bot. I don't know. Anyway, let's go over here. We're gonna go over to the tower. We're gonna try to change this tower. I need to get these towers back to our team. They cannot just keep spawning in in front of our um, safe zone, or else we're screwed. And okay, so now this is what I was talking about. This is when the payoff comes for all that patience. So look at my enemies. Look at who I'm facing now. So it's me and a heavy dino, and I am taking on an Edison, which is immediate, and boom, got myself a kill. And now it's me and a heavy dino, and who's left on the other team? A little tiny Velociraptor. And look who's on the other team? A sniper which of course would be super deadly if he could find a place to hide, but there's nowhere to hide. And so there you have it. That is some of my tactics. Um, I'm not gonna say they're gonna work every single time, but in general, just to review, um, I immediately get into a small dino and I try to get my tower and their home tower. Then I try to use the, the, that um, terrain and that sort of territory advantage to spawn in and uh, wipe out their, uh, their snipers. You cannot let their sniper set up. To me, that's one of the most important parts of the game. Do not let them set up with their snipers. Then I basically come back with my sniper. I try to take out their heavy dinos. And then the mid game, I'm not too worried. No one's gonna win that much in the mid game unless you're super maxed. And so I'm just gonna keep throwing my, my medium dinos at their heavy dinos, trying to whittle them down so that when I bring in my heavy dinos, I have an advantage and I can take them out. And if all works well, I should be in a heavy dino at the time when the other team is running out of their heavy dinos and they're basically stuck with their mediums um, or their little tiny reavers or whatever it is. So anyway, there you go. If you got any thoughts or comments, uh, hit me up, drop me a line. Um, as always, I love the, the support, the share, the subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in the battlefield.